Welcome back to Chicago Car Club. Today we're representing our 1931 Chevrolet Independence five window coupe. This was bought out of a collection out of Wisconsin, a uh, pretty avid Chevy owner. Looks like it was restored probably in the late 70s, maybe 80s. Kind of hard to tell. Um, it's all intact. It's a little tired in terms of paint. Um, some of the rubber and stuff on the footsteps and things you'll notice in the video. Um, kind of indicative of an old res res restoration, excuse me. But I'm going to take you all the way around the car, let you see everything here. Um, you can kind of see the paint's just mediocre at best. Um, good from far, but far from good. It does have the rumble seat. Um, it appears that all of the panels are original to the car. And it's been well maintained over the years, especially mechanically um, where it's sad. All the fuel was drained out of it. Going to let you get a real good detailed look of the car. All the glass is nice and intact. You can see here on the roof, the vinyl up there is pretty dried. Probably will need some attention in the near future. It doesn't seem to leak at this point, although we have another car sitting out in the rain. The rumble seat is nice. Again, panel fitment's good. All the metal is solid. We didn't, uh, we didn't find much in the way of any areas that might have been repaired with rust um, and you'll kind of see on this walk around chips scratches dings kind of the normal stuff some paint peeling off on the door separating from the primer but all in all uh, it's very complete um, largely original and uh, it's a great driver It's still on the six volt system. Um, it is a negative ground car, which I don't know if that was switched. I don't know if on the Chevys, if they were always negative ground, but they're much safer than positive ground. Inside here, you can see the door jam. Um, door fitment's really good. Everything lines up, your seat, you've got all your hardware inside. Again, kind of older restoration uh, vinyl and stuff hanging. Those knobs for the front, windshield and the rear glass um aren't operative um properly right now at least um to raise and lower those rubber mat on the floor is nice all the knobs and the gas gauges are nice to show you under the hood here you know some of the original gaskets and stuff around which you know could could benefit from replacement but We believe this to be the original 194 inline six, um, also known as a stove bolt. Uh, it does run uh, nicely. The packing on the water pump um, seems to hold uh, and doesn't leak. Uh, the radiator moves coolant through it, which is nice. And uh, it takes a nice idle when running. Show you both sides here. Generator, we believe the generator is working, although I'm not certain. We haven't really driven it enough and I haven't tested it yet, but. Here you can hear running along. It's got a nice idle. I'll take it for a ride and let you hear and see um, how it runs and drives. The knobs for the throttle adjust for the idle and for the choke. See the three-speed manual, the clutch, the brakes are good. Really runs and drives nicely. Um, again, you know the prior owner, we understand, he took very good care of his stuff. So even though it's an older restoration, it's one of the it's at. Chugging down the road here, gets through the gears nicely, accelerates nicely, comes back to idle again. It stops straight. A lot of the 
gauges are working just fine. The original switch is in the car. We do have the key set for it. We encourage you to give us a call anytime for more information on this particular car. You can reach us at shycarclub at gmail.com or by phone or text to 312. 420-3696. We do our best to represent everything as completely and thoroughly and as possible and be as transparent as we can. Um, we do miss things from time to time, but our goal is to make you as comfortable as possible in what we have here. Feel free to call us anytime. We look forward to hearing from you.